very good morning to one and all i am dr s ramesh uh, presently i am working as a uh, professor and head of the department of pharmaceutics and vice principal of the karuna college of pharmacy it is in kerala india uh, before joining this institution i worked as a professor and a, uh, vice principal in the sri uh, school of pharmacy uh, sri balaji vidyabit uh, pottacheri uh, so in my research career i was completed my Uh, bachelor of pharmacy degree from tamil nadu dr mgr medical university in uh, year of 2000 and uh, after soon after completion of my course i immediately went for a practice uh, to work as a pharmacist in a uh, pharmacy in uh, kingdom of bahrain it is in the uh, one of the uh, gulf country then after that i came back to india and i started my master program in uh, pharmacy so i have done my uh, master of pharmacy in industrial pharmacy from the Uh, anamali university so in the year of 2005 i have com- completed my post graduation in pharmacy so from the day of uh, 2005 i was working as a, started my career as a, a lecturer uh, i started my career in anamacharya college of pharmacy it is in uh, uh, andhra pradesh so then i started my career in the uh, padmavati school of pharmacy it is in tirupati so there i continued my started my research uh, 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 degree like phd so i done my phd in the area of uh, nano formulations and the year of 2011 i was been awarded a phd in pharmaceutical sciences and after that i was started my career in uh, uh, nehru college of pharmacy as a professor and head department of pharmaceutics then after that i was been uh, called for a, a international assignment so i was joined as a senior lecturer in uh, uh, for a short period of time the faculty of pharmacy segi university in kuala lumpur malaysia then uh, after that i came back and was uh, continuing with the same portion in uh, ratnam institute of pharmacy it is in uh, andhra pradesh so i was a visiting professor for the north caucasian state medical university russia as well as uh, uh, university of asmara in uh, eastern africa so so far i was published nine books uh, with the international publisher and one book in the national publishing and i have published uh, uh, more than 12 publications in the international journals so totally i have 8 17 years of teaching experience so in this today we are going to see about the uh, the research topic so my topic is uh, emphasizing the uh, teaching faculties emphasizing the current research thirst for the teaching faculties for the faculties so that is what my today's topic so here i am going to cover the some of the areas like biomaterials waste recycling artificial intelligence based drug delivery system and uh, medical psychology so today we are going to see detail about these topics and also what is meant by research so first of all i would like to say that uh, what is mean by research so usually when we are going to start our research uh, uh, area or research uh, topics so we are insisting our postgraduate students or phd students to go for finding a novel things so that our research can be uh, developed further so in this case uh, uh, the novelty in sense that to identify a problem so basically research means to identify a problem and to find out the apt solution for the particular problem what it has been identified so based upon that uh, the research is focus on the identifying a first the problem then we are going to uh, see about the uh, solutions for the solving the problems as well as we are going to uh, implement those uh, research findings for the better upliftment of the uh, uh, patients as well as for the customers so here uh, the main research focus on identifying a first year problem and suitable identification of problem is highly mandatory and also uh, based upon that only we are going to proceed in the main uh, part of the research is actually composed of uh, first to find out the identify the problem then not actually to evaluate the, uh, the techniques evaluate the problems as well as we are going to create the hypothesis and also you have to design the research work and also you have to go from some practical uh, analysis on that so before that uh, identifying a problem once the problems has been identified then we have to go for a broad literature survey about the topics 
what it has been uh, done so based upon that only we are going to go further into that and finally we are doing the work and publishing and getting the result and based upon the result obtained uh, we are going to uh, correlate uh, the results from the existing one so this is actually called as the process of research so next thing is actually uh, you all know about the uh, biomaterials so biomaterials is a area where our pharmacy is contributing some part medical sciences and also the engineering side so here we all uh, going to discuss about that uh, nowadays uh, there are so many biomaterials has been uh, made and it has been uh, used for the different uh, treatment as well as for the as a pharmaceutical aid so for example uh, you can able to see the contact lens or some catheters or the bone fixations and also some heart walls so everything is made up of a biomaterial so biomaterial means we all know about that is a biologically degradable one as well as it is actually going to produce a, a very good effect and it is not uh, a synthetically made one it is a naturally uh, obtained one so this is actually called as the biomaterials the main purpose of this uh, lecture is uh, uh, based upon the waste material utilization so we all know about that uh, even in industry there will be a lot of uh, waste materials are eluted out and uh, even uh, there are uh, industrial waste and plant waste animal waste and uh, there are different wastes are there so in india uh, we are not having that much of uh, waste recycling process so waste means it's a waste we are just going to dispose it off and we are not going to extract anything uh, value added product from the waste materials it is it has not been recycled properly so in that case that uh, in uh, developed countries like singapore and all they are going for the zero percent waste management means that they are com completely utilizing the waste product into a uh, useful products so the plant waste is nothing but that uh, there are numerous plant plant waste we are obtaining from the local shops like you can able to see here that um, the cabbage waste carrot waste as well as some types of leaf waste and all so here uh, the fine one uh, good example is actually the uh, jackfruit so you know that in um, uh, in our india we are just taking all the fruits out and we are just throwing all the the debris so the debris is not treated properly it is considered as a waste material so already we done uh, some projects in that uh, how to extract the pectin from the jackfruit it has been already done and like that uh, recently we have been done a, uh, on a, we extracted a polymer carboxymethyl cellulose from the cauliflower shoots like uh, the leaves so like that each and every a uh, plant material consists of a different polymer or some of the excipient that may be used for the preparation of the pharmaceutical formulations so for that only we are going to concentrate on that apart from that we are going to see about the uh, uh, animal waste for example fish waste for example you are going to get uh, chitosan sodium alginate uh, agarose these are the components so it's may mainly extracted from the uh, sea uh, sea products especially from the fishes or from the marine animals so the waste product of those uh, animals and those waste can be properly utilized to go for the extraction of this type of material that will be highly useful for the preparation of the uh, pharmaceutical formulation especially chitosan is used for the preparation of sustainable dosha forms and it is being mainly used as a polymer and uh, it, it having a very good compatible property so that is our example i am planning to give for this one next area is that uh, so so far we saw about that uh, uh, how a plant material or a waste material can be converted into a pharmaceutically uh, useful material or a pharmaceutical excipient that what we discussed in the previous one now the second part of this uh, uh, research thrust is actually uh, finding out the proper drugs for the diseases so we are doing so much research in the post graduation level as well as in the phd doctorate level and all but uh, our problem of identifying the things uh, it's has to be a little bit uh, more uh, uh, advanced you have to do it some more uh, things what the patient needs so for example we don't have any proper medicament for filariasis viral infections cancer uh, psoriasis and vitiligo so so far my uh, based upon my research uh, uh, ideas so 
so what are the project i have uh, done it so far based upon the these type of diseases like uh, i have done my project on vitiligo and psoriasis so we are uh, uh, extracted some novel uh, product from the plant material animal material uh, as a treatment as a one of the drug for the treatment of vitiligo as well as for the psoriasis so these are the some of the diseases we don't have any proper medicament at the same time we don't have any proper formulation also so i request to all the our, uh, our teachers as well as the students of post graduations even undergraduate study of pharmacy to collect uh, these type of uh, problems so that it may be useful to the patient as well as for the public and also you will also uh, the society also will be going to be get benefited instead of uh, uh, the main uh, problem what we are facing or main mistake what we are doing is actually we are going to see the novelty only but we are not going to see the uh, how it has been going to be get applied or what is the problem can be rectified by this so in uh, uh, foreign countries especially western countries uh, each and every uh, things is be based upon the translation medicines for example whatever you are doing to lab finally it has to comes to the patient or comes to the uh, customer so but whatever the research we are doing in our laboratory it is totally confined in the laboratory itself or up to some extent for publications so after that we are not uh, going into deep into that study and the people those who are going to start the research work also they are not going to continue in our area they are going to find a new one and they are going to process a new one so this was the case so it is my humble request to all the researchers that uh, you please concentrate on these type of research areas that will be useful to the uh, our uh, patients as well as for the uh, for the your betterment especially for the publications Uh, you can see this uh, examples that I am showing to here. That uh, filariasis. So uh, you can see that we have, don't have a proper medicament for this. Uh, next, we tell you go. This is uh, autoimmune disease, as you know well. Uh, this also we don't have any proper medicament for this. Psoriasis, absolutely, we don't have any medication for this. Still, we have some emollients, and we are managing the disease. Not we are hundred percent cure the disease. Uh, as well as the cancer also so so many medications are there for cancer but still now we don't have any proper uh, formulations to target the things still the researches are going on now next area is called artificial intelligence uh, you know that in everywhere uh, the artificial intelligence are plays a major role so for example uh, each in every field of study uh, like uh, engineering or uh, uh, agriculture or veterinary science uh, now the, they started implementing this uh, artificial intelligence in the in their areas so uh, we to have to uh, study about the we should have a knowledge about this artificial intelligence because uh, in future area will be totally depend upon this type of uh, computer uh, aided drug uh, design or computer aided drug discovery so this all will based upon the one of the programming language you know that python so we have to uh, Uh, do some research on that so for example uh, in order to start a research on this area we have to be a, a thorough knowledge about the python as well as we have to uh, improve our coding skills and our uh, totally we have to study a computer language so basically uh, we are all pharmacy background or biological sciences background we are not much aware of the, the pharmaceutical the artificial intelligence and all because there will be a entirely different area but now we are it has been become mandatory in each and every areas so for example for drug making or drug discovery or making any formulation or if you are making of any type of uh, uh, dissolution what is called evaluation studies for the formulations we need a computer aided or artificial intelligence aided uh, uh, programming so in order to speed up the process in order to give you a uh, correct uh, uh, evaluation reports so that uh, every person has to uh, please look on this area this also will be a growing field in this one the next thing is called uh, what are the applications we are making in the uh, using artificial intelligence and machine learning especially our field already it has been implemented in medicine therapeutics uh, or identification of diseases whatever it may be medical side but in pharma side and where we can able to apply this ai and ml so first thing is called drug discovery next called uh, drug delivery as well as for the activity studies in pharmacology and also uh, the last one is called uh, uh, computer assisted uh, uh, treatments
ஸோ ஏஐ பேஸ்டு தெரப்பி தட்ஸ் வால் கால்டு ஏபிடி ஐ டோல் யூ ஸோ ஏபி பேஸ்ட் தெரப்பி மீன்ஸ் நத்திங் பட் தேட் இன் ஃபியூச்சர் எவ்ரி திங் வில் பி ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி இட் இஸ் ஏ ஏஐ பேஸ்டு ஒன் So already some researches are going on that uh, how to control a uh, human brain by using some artificially uh, made up uh, chips chip and uh, so the new invention is uh, a new area of research has been started now so in future it may be uh, the, um, the AI based uh, therapy may be come into existence so we have to prepare ourselves to meet out those challenges in future so in order to that so already you might be knowing that uh, if you are implanting a chip in a brain so the chip can be controlled by externally by a computer or by a, uh, any type of uh, a device uh, a mobile so uh, in order to control a brain functions or in order to uh, for example uh, your patient is uh, getting fever and all you used to prescribe uh, paracetamol in order to or any other uh, biologic drug antipyretic drugs so in future there may be chance of existence of using a chip uh, this fever can come down by adjusting the hypothalamus or thermostat by a computer coded uh, some command uh, this can be so in that case the drug can be totally replaced by a uh, artificial intelligence mechanisms so that is the reason that we should be um, get trained ourselves to meet out those challenges or to make some type of research in this area it will be highly beneficial even though if it is not beneficial to us uh, uh, future generations definitely they will go with uh, this type of therapy next thing is uh, uh, the last area of our uh, today session is actually uh, the medical psychology so medical psychology already uh, we are studied about the different type of uh, psychologies and all uh, especially we studied about the conscious mind the subconscious mind uh, Uh, why a patient is getting depressed uh, there are so many reasons are there in that uh, uh, medical psychology and here i am going to emphasize only about the uh, subconscious mind so how the subconscious mind will make a person to be uh, perfect so maybe it is a uh, 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 maybe a, i'm not talking about spiritually i'm not talking about a, like a hypothesis but some scientists some uh, articles what i read uh, it has been clearly understood that uh, our way of life our thinking everything will be controlled by our sub- subconscious mind not by our logical mind so logical mind means what you are talking what you are learning what you are understanding what you are discussing and what you are making research everything what you are doing daily it's a uh, our conscious mind subconscious mind is not like that it is actually a mind present in our thinking and it is actually uh, it's one of the storage area is hypothetical area so where some of our uh, vision will, will be stored in that so that will be going to be happen in our life by way of the force of attractions or some cosmic uh, attractions and those to be discussed separately in uh, uh, forthcoming videos or forthcoming les- uh, lectures in detail so here we are just going to see about what is meant by subconscious mind and this conscious mind you can say that uh, the picture clearly shows to us that uh, conscious mind is very a uh, limited mind so with the conscious mind we cannot do the wonders or we cannot work like uh, we have some limitations in the conscious mind but subconscious mind is a ocean and we doesn't know that will be make us the uh, our life to a better level okay so uh, the in the subconscious mind uh, what are the things we are going to see it here first thing is it's not a logical mind it will not think logically it is a different it totally different it seems to be like a magical mind but uh, it's actually true so it has been proved that it is attraction force of attraction and also it's a vibration produced in our body it may be a positive or negative that is going to happen so this vibration will be un- connected to our uh, cosmic rays and that only will be going to decide our future okay so it is actually a, a, a mind is working around the clock 24 hours it doesn't get tired and more it is a creative mind actually and more it is having unlimited power so that will be a main servant for us logical mind is not a servant but our subconscious mind is a only servant and actually no filter no filter mean it cannot differentiate like our conscious mind which is bad which is so usually the people says to you be positive Uh, don't give a uh, negative thoughts don't think about negative side and all 
because too much of thinking about negative ideas that may be decoded in our subconscious mind that is only happen to our life so when a people is highly positive the positive energy will goes to subconscious mind and it will make the things done positively and moreover if you want to be very happy first of all don't think about any uh, sad uh, uh, things or don't think about any uh, thing that will make us panic so you have to be always make your mind uh, happy so subconscious mind will take the positive response and will make your uh, life also positive as well as happy so if you are th- thinking about uh, too much of uh, your we highly worried uh, and always discussing about problems always thinking about problem our subconscious mind will think that uh, this person needs only the worries and problems he don't want the, this uh, happiness so whenever you will be very happy the subconscious mind is so subconscious mind doesn't have any filter or will not differentiate which is bad or which is good whatever we are giving input it's like a computer it will give the actions so detail we will discuss about subconscious mind in the uh, in the forthcoming videos so next uh, we are going to see about the publications so <clears throat> majority of the publications uh, uh, what we are doing is actually uh, we are doing in a publishing in a journal but uh, whenever you are working in a, any university or any colleges and uh, that college or the university may be uh, accredited by accreditation bodies like nbi or nac and all uh, specifically they are insisting us to publish our work in the scopus index journals minimum and uh, if it is higher level it's okay so uh, the publication is actually equally important that we are going to uh, uh, see here so now uh, before going to publish your work uh, you please kindly go to the uh, thomson reuters website uh, there they are uh, giving a list of journals uh, indexed journals list so kindly check with the thomson reuters uh, website uh, and uh, whether uh, which journal you are intend to uh, publish the work uh, that uh, journal should be presented in their website so then only will be taken into consideration for your uh, betterment like for your uh, uh, getting of uh, any research projects or to go for the promotions or uh, uh, whatever it may be that what your university or your college is saying that see for example uh, if it is a university uh, every publications uh, should be indexed uh, to be published in the minimum scopus level journals so in that case uh, you have to identify uh, the correct journal and you have to publish in the works so that's what uh, uh, the thomson reuters based upon the thomson reuters we are going to see so three things are the scopus pubmed and science direct especially uh, the pharmacy and allied health sciences uh, uh, researchers should look after the uh, these three uh, things before going to publish this before they send the journals for example there are so many journals are there national international journals are there but they are not comes under scopus so if it is not comes under scopus the university or the uh, or uh, the accreditation bodies are not accepting as a pub, uh, published works so kindly go through these things pubmed or science direct and get the result uh, published in this work so in my area i was published uh, my works already you can uh, you can log on to your google scholar and you can see the i was in the h index for example my h index is 6 uh, uh, so like that uh, uh, the google scholar is calculating uh, the our uh, the value so if you are going to be publishing or work in the scopus or the indexed journals only you can able to get this course so you may be done a very good work uh, but you are published in a journal that has not been listed in this uh, then uh, you will not be your research work will not be counted even though you have done a very uh, uh, high level works or the works will be highly appreci- appreciable so that case uh, you have to repeat into the particular this areas and uh, these are the some of the books uh, you can somebody wants to publish some books uh, or somebody they want to publish some book chapters and uh, they can uh, for account they can go for the two types of things first one is called as self publishing self publishing means that uh, for example if you want to publish any text books uh, or any manual or any type of uh, uh, work books or any type of guide that can be published by your name for example you can take on iss number uh, isbn number and you can publish your works and you can get a license so that is a different one 
and if you want to publish a work in the you want to publish a book but at the same time it has not been uh, you are not been interested in the self publishing you want some others to publish your work your book means that time you can go for a approaching a international publisher or national publisher so international publisher according to me i was published my book first book in the pharma book syndicate so i was very thankful to them they published my book and still is available in the market and uh, obviously the international point of view i published the books uh, more than nine books in the uh, crs publication taylor and francis is an international publisher so if the people they want to do it in the two way in the case of publishing a book but publishing a journal is purely based upon the what i told you in the earlier uh, this should be comes under the uh, thoms and totters these are the some of the books i published so far in the crc uh, especially in the taylor and francis and uh, and also uh, this other list of the books uh, i published it so if you have any queries uh, you can directly call the contact the sudhi pharma world for further details we will assist you for the getting a, a book published in the uh, international pub- with the international publisher or with the uh, national publishers or will you can uh, guide you for public publishing or work in the reputed journals and all if anybody is wants to join with us to writing a book or uh, writing a book chapters they can readily contact us for the further information we are always able to help you thanks for watching this one for the more uh, videos uh, you please uh, subscribe uh, the shruti pharma world uh, and support us with your likes and your uh, shares that will be helpful us to give you more videos in the future and also it will be highly encouraging for us thank you very much